Since we're in the Pacific Northwest, we have this huge variety of trees that grow really, really big. Lots and lots and lots and lots of rain. And they get big, 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 big. John's the wordsmith. To, for, <laughs> so, well, some customers have some pretty wild ideas. The fabricators have some pretty wild ideas. So the firehouse guys came up with some ideas of having two saw blades hand painted and inlaid to the top of the table. And then the base was custom made sprinkler pipe, which matches everything that they do. It was pretty amazing. There's this brewery in downtown Tacoma. They want to ferment a beer inside of a log, hollowing out this log. They're gonna brew the beer, pour it into the log, and let it naturally ferment. We work with homeowners, tree services, property development companies. When a tree is destined to come down, we go recover that tree. We don't go looking for them to cut down. John is actually the talent. I look at trees, I just, whenever I'm driving around, trees are all I see. I look at them and I analyze them and I appreciate them and I memorize where they're at. If I see a tree and I can't figure out what it is, boom, there's my research for the day. It's tree crazy. Why don't you start? Oh no, I think you're, <laughs> no. you're up. We've got trees so big that we can't even move them. So that's 23,000 pounds. All we can do is roll it one way or the other way. Our slabs yeah. are so big, we had to build our own piece of machinery to flatten them. Yeah. Every slab is one of a kind. Then it has to be perfect because that might be the last slab of that tree, and there's not gonna be anything else like it for ever. The stakes are high. Very high. 